Hey, Intentional Man, it's Jonathan McGinley. I'm so excited to be here with you. And I just want to say thank you for purchasing the planner and also for taking the time to uh, go through it, watch these training videos. I know that if you're doing that, that you truly care about growing as a man. And I believe that this tool is going to be life changing for you if you truly stick to it. So thanks for being here. I wanted to give you a quick training video on these uh, daily pages here. And so you'll notice what's different about this planner than most is that we got the night pages on the left and the morning pages on the right. The reason we did this is because your day starts the night before. That's how I want you to think about it. Your day starts the night before. A lot of your success depends on how you prepare the night before. And so that's why the night is on the left and the, and the morning is on the right, because I want you to view it that way. Also, this will give you an idea where you can you know, fill out your schedule the night before. That's what I like to do, and we'll go through that in a minute. So the night page is on the left. Pretty self-explanatory here. What we have with this Intentional Man scorecard are these six different areas that I think if you consistently do these things, consistently focus on them, that you truly are going to live a highly intentional life. So faith, mission, attitude, integrity, purity, and stewardship. If you really can focus on these things, I really think that you're going to be proud of the life that you lived if you do these things on a daily basis. The reason we have a scorecard, this is not to beat yourself up if you get a low score. It's not to praise yourself if you get high scores and think that we have everything figured out. The reason we do scorecards is because if we don't measure things, then we usually aren't paying attention to them, right? Out of sight, out of mind. This scorecard is designed to help you just keep these things in focus on a daily basis, to see how you're doing with them, and to just make improvements when there's areas that we can improve in. That's all it is. So I always want you to think progress over perfection. Don't beat yourself up if the scores are low, but take the time to reflect on why were they low today? How can I maybe make some uh, small improvements going into the next day? So that's why we do the scorecard. The spot below, what was your biggest win today? Celebrate the wins. We always, you know, we want to focus on improving, but we also want to recognize when we do something special and we do something that was good. So Put your biggest win. It can be from these six categories, or it can just be something else that you got done or a relationship moment that you had throughout the day. Put in your biggest win. Then what are some areas of improvement? This is a big one. If we don't reflect on things, if we don't actually take the time to think about, okay, you know, I got a low score in uh, mission today. What can I do tomorrow to maybe bump that score up? What can I, what habit can I put in? What can I consistently improve? What can I do just a small, subtle difference that's going to end up bumping those scores up. So that's why you want to write something in there. Then the daily goal review at the bottom here. This is a big one. So did you make progress on your goals today? You should have set 12-week goals when you first started out. Did you make progress on them today? Yes or no? So if it's yes, check yes. We're good. We made progress. If it's no, then a quick reflection. If not, what needs to change to get back on track? What, what should I do tomorrow? What are habits I need to implement? What are some of these obstacles that I need to anticipate better and overcome? So just a quick daily goal review. Then this one thing here down at the bottom, the one thing, what is the one thing that must be done tomorrow to move your life forward? This is an awesome tool here. So many times we get focused on to-do lists. We get focused on all these different tasks and it could be great. We could be working hard, but we may not be doing the things that actually are moving the needle in our lives. And so you're just identifying this one thing that I got to do tomorrow even if I do it, it's going to make tomorrow a success. It's going to move my life forward. This can be related to your goals. Absolutely. It can be related to relationships. It doesn't have to just be in your career or finance. Um, but what is one thing? And then just make sure that that thing is being done tomorrow. So what I would do is write in the one thing there in the box. And then I would move over to the morning. And this is still the night before. And I would put it on my schedule. If we don't schedule things, we're probably not going to do it. So I would recommend right after you write that down, go to the schedule, put it in there. Um, and then I personally like to fill out my schedule the night before. And that's another reason that the night is on the left, the morning is on the right. I like to just think through my day the night before, schedule it all out, you know, put in meetings, put in the tasks, put in different things in the schedule the night before. If you like to do that in the morning, it's totally okay. Um, just make sure you're really filling that schedule out. So that's what the morning is over here. There's some mindset prompts. Uh, these rotate on a daily basis. These are great things to just get you in the right mindset, to get you thinking about what's important to you, to get you thinking about the things that you're grateful for and, and what you're praising God for. 
And then this one box, I love this. Name one person you can intentionally encourage today. I think if we all did this on a consistent basis, that our lives would drastically change. So write in the name of somebody that you want to intentionally encourage, and then just think about how you want to do it. You know, is it, do you have a meeting with them? What are you going to say? How are you going to show up to that meeting? If it's your wife, are you going to, you know, do something for her tonight to serve her? Are you going to say something specific? It doesn't have to be massive, but I just want you to start thinking more intentionally about how we're investing in people around us. Then there's a to-do list there. I would take my one thing, also put it at the top of the to-do list, and then you can kind of go from there with some different things that you need to get done for the day. Mark those off as you go. So that's pretty much the daily pages. This is the meat and the bulk of this planner. I think if you do these things on a consistent basis, it's going to be really life-changing. So hope it's helpful and let's go get after it.